This is the craziest processor on the planet Earth. Yes, you heard it right. This one? Yes. Why is the craziest processor? I'll tell you. So this is a processor from AMD model Ryzen 5 600G processor. So this 1000 rupees processor can do all these things. So this processor has 6 cores, 12 threads. Yes, you heard it right. So it's huge, insane. So this processor has got 16 MB L3 cache. You know about the cache. The more cache in the processor, that much of output performance. So understand guys. Guys, the biggest thing of this processor is its inbuilt graphics. Yes. So this processor has inbuilt graphics. So you don't need any additional graphic card to get the display output. So it will run with the integrated graphics. So you just have to install the CPU on the motherboard and that's it guys. No video cards or graphic cards required to run the processor or the computer. So that's a very good thing. And guys, the inbuilt graphics of this processor is like crazy. Why I'm telling you? Because you'll get to know. Just stay tuned. So as this processor supports gaming, we'll try some games on this processor. And also previously I played many games on this processor. So here's a sweet video of that and uh, you can check it out after watching this video. So I played 4005 on this PC and the resolution was set to 1080p and the graphics settings was set to low and the gameplay was smooth and we were getting around 45 to 55 fps and also 60 fps sometimes so i noticed very less stutters while playing the game and yeah guys it was quite playable so we also played GTA 5 and here are the results. So the resolution was set to 1080p and the graphic settings was set to medium. And yeah guys we are getting like smooth 35 to 45 or 50 fps. The gameplay was smooth and playable. So it has got a base clock frequency of 3.9 GHz and max clock frequency of 4.4 GHz. Yes and the sad thing about this processor is... I'll tell you in the later part of the video, not now, not now guys. So now let's do some benchmark test on this processor. Guys, I don't know one thing guys, I'm really confused. Apple's M1 chip is slower than this processor, like seriously. So I'll show you the live results, just see here guys. I was not expecting it from AMD. So I ran Cinebench R24 and these are the scores in single core and multi core performance. And I also ran Geekbench 6 and these are the scores. And yes, finally I can say that this is the best processor under budget. So this processor has AM4 socket. So all the AM4 socket motherboards will be supported. Yes, including the latest AM4 motherboard. So this processor is built on Zen 3 architecture. So yeah, it is optimized and it is efficient. So now we'll do video editing test on this processor. So let's go. So did you notice guys how fast it was? It is because of its M.2 SSD. So these are all the 4K videos. So let's edit these videos. But if you can see here, I'm adding text, changing its properties and all. Like it is quite smooth guys. Like it's not so ultra smooth but still it does its job well guys. So now let's export the project and uh, we are gonna exporting it to 4K resolution. The processor, yes guys, it is a very light uh, processor because it does not consume much electricity. So it only consumes like 65 watt in uh, maximum, you know, operation. Like if the CPU utilization is 100%, then it will consume 65 watt of power or else it will be around like 30 to 40 watt or even less than that sometimes. So yes guys, it's a power efficient processor. So it's not a power hungry processor like Intel. <laughs> So the maximum temperature of this processor is 95 degrees Celsius and also it's not a good thing for the processor to reach its uh, maximum temperature because it shortens the lifespan of the processor. So understand and buy a better cooler. The sad thing about this processor is basically it supports only up to PCIe 3.0 version. You will be thinking like PCIe 3.0 is slower than 4.0. Yes, it's slower but uh, it didn't affect any day-to-day -day performance or it didn't affect my gameplay also. So now my review. So I'm using this processor from the last one year. Yes, you heard it right. So you might have seen this video. I did a PC build like my main PC build video. It's here. You can check it out after watching this video. From the day one, it didn't give any performance issues or any other issues. It is working fine guys. There's no problem in the processor. So you can buy this processor if you want to do gaming, video editing and you can also buy this processor for entertainment purpose and that's it for today. Meet you in my next video. Till then, bye.